Well, hello there, YouTube. How the heck is everybody doing? I wish I could say my day was doing better. Man, I'm out on a test ride, decided to take this dirt road. Man, I'm on a customer's bike, and this is like a huge mess. Or is it? Look at that. That is the 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. The newly designed Dark Horse. Look at that. No running lights in the fairing. No turn signals. The, the Chieftain headdress. The headdress is back on the fender, the new style fender. You guys remember the new fenders didn't have the headdress on it. And uh, kind of like other motorcycles, and uh, because I work on them more, BMWs namely, you have drive modes. I'll show you that here in a second. Check these bags out. They are wonderful. Nice and roomy inside. I mean, nice and roomy. You still have your electric locks for the bags. But look at the, the seat. I've only been on it for about a mile or so. But the seat is amazingly comfortable. And let me tell you, before I take off, because you guys know how my, uh, my Hero 4 in Superview makes this thing look like it's like in your face. Here, let me just get off to show you. It is not that way. I'm, I'm sorry that the camera makes it look that way, but it doesn't. See, look. Here's your ride area. It's it's nice and smooth. I mean, it's not as flat as, you know, other brands, but I mean, it's not in your face like the camera's going to show it here in a minute, so just be aware of that. Beautiful color. I'm not sure what they call this color. That's amazing. But Oh, it's in that mode right now. So you have Tour, which I've been in, Standard, and Sport. And from what I understand, Sport is like, uh, you know, turning the uh, the ratio up like on a Harley. You use your FP3 and put it one-to-one -one or 100%, and they say it's like a lawn dart. Apparently, <laughs> this one is uh, quite active in Sport mode. Touring mode is the old, original mapping mode. So just to give you an idea, this is Mellow Man. This is Holy Moly. So let's quit looking at it with an iPhone 10, And uh, let's convert to a GoPro and take her for a ride. All right. So this is my first time riding it in sport mode. I didn't switch it. I just drove out here. This is Orchards Park. I take you guys to another thing my camera is low so it's hard to see over the dash and I, I'm telling you you can see over this thing just crystal clear this thing is some kind of oh no I'm gonna get dust on the floorboards Let's see if I can knock some of that off oh tell off whoa I mean that thing is like snappy. Take this bad boy for a rip. Oh, and you got the new switch clusters. I don't think I've even ridden one with the new switch cluster on it. But it's got that bobbed off shield. Look, that's full height. And you can be guaranteed it works fantastic. That sport mode is like, you need to have some serious throttle control. Whoa, I feel like a rookie riding this thing. Holy moly, just bumps in the road makes you jolt it. Oh, there's not going to be any speed runs or any kind of weird stuff like that. So, anybody that I get the comment, ride that ride that thing let's see what she's got ain't happening whoa that throttle is crazy sensitive whoa. oh that feels really nice you know what i think the shield actually worked a little better down for my uh 
that. And now nah, that's pretty loud. I just gotta find the the right place for my face shield that I don't get a bunch of wind noise and wipe out this little cheap mic. Oh man, the difference in sport mode is crazy. I wonder if it'll allow me to change in uh, in motion. Probably got, look at that. Man, it's like the BMWs, you gotta let go of the throttle. Oh yeah, that's way mellower. Oh yeah, if you got let go of the throttle, it goes right into it. Yeah, this feels like the old Indian, the touring mode. Let's play with this sport some more. I like that. Whoa! I like that. Yeah, you might want to hold on with both hands, too. Good Lord, the difference is just shocking. This Andreessen, where am I at here? No, nope. we're going to go down here a little bit. Man, is this thing. So, I did a daily vlog thing there yesterday. And, um, oh, I forgot to talk about the seat. The seat looks different. Looks like it'd be skinny and uncomfortable. I'm telling you, crazy, crazy comfortable. And it just, you have more, it feels like you have more control over the bike. You ever ridden a bike that the seat just, like, gives you this, like, feeling you're not in control? It's like the, the seat is, like, interfering there's Andreessen I keep wanting to push a Harley uh, turn signal that ain't gonna work on this gal but yeah the seat is amazingly comfortable I love having not having turn signals and all that crap in the fairing I really really like the look but anyway in the daily vlog I was uh, I was asking you guys you know or asking them if you're not following that side but uh what they thought i was going to give my opinion until i seen one in person and all of a sudden our rep shows up with this we're supposed to have one it's in transit but uh every truck that backed up we're going is that it is that it <laughs> and all of a sudden uh, our main indian tech comes comes right i hear an indian coming down the road and i could see him from a ways there i'm going what the heck this is one of the new ones. The first thing I could see is the vent and the lack of uh, uh, running lights and turn signals in the fairing. I knew that was a new one. So I thought he had got it and taken it upstairs, but our rep dropped this thing off. And I uh, didn't get a chance to ride it yesterday. There was no tag or anything on it. Um, something tells me I'm not setting this light off. I'm sitting too far forward. Had an issue with a BMW yesterday. I sat there for six minutes through a light. Because I cut that part out of the video, it was part of the daily vlog yesterday. It's a three-minute light, and I had to go through, it, wait for it twice, six minutes. Ah, it comes a Mercedes to the rescue. But yeah, I love the seat. I love how it makes it feel skinny and playful. All right, we're green. We gotta go. So another thing that's introduced. Oh. Watch your turn signal. That thing cancels as reliable as the Harleys do. I don't think they had that before, did they? Did they have self-canceling? Probably did. I just noticed it works really, really well. The only bikes I've ever ridden that the uh, self-canceling turn signals are just flawless. It's on the Harleys. This thing just, you can't trick it. But uh, one of the other things they have uh, introduced that Harleys had for a while, and if you've ever ridden on these Indians, you get stuck in traffic, and that rear cylinder gets hotter than you can possibly imagine. The heat coming off of that thing is, when I rode that Chieftain to a Yosemite a couple years back, man, I mean that puppy was hot. So, if ambient temperature is 68 above, and the engine is at operating temperatures, when you are at idle, throttle off, um, the rear cylinder shuts off just like you can activate that Harley's got an acronym for it and I always turn it off because I don't like the sound of it and the heat never gets to me and it's uh, turned off on this one at the moment I he went into where it's at I don't know where it's at 
the menus in this thing are just miles deep by the way too but anyway he uh he turned it off because it makes a loafing sound but uh, just like the harleys you touch the throttle or anything it immediately kicks it off so it, it, it it's only off when you're sitting there idling oh baby brakes are good so yeah that should help tremendously and uh you know harley you hit info and roll the throttle forward and it and hold it there for a second it turns it on or off this one you got a menu item it's just a it's like on your phone it's just got a little switch that you switch it back and forth to turn it on and off so it's really easy to manipulate that you know even with the shield all the way up it still has that low boy cool look I loved love a bobbed off shield can't re believe how responsive this thing is in sport mode it is nuts I don't know how to oh hit the wrong thing there we are nice high definition GPS display that's super super nice oh it's got a little green light there telling me that uh that I'm in sport mode just to the left of the, of the <laughs> yeah you touch the throttle you know you're in sport mode it is like instantaneously responsive yeah Kevin I'm gonna go home and switch my uh switch mine into 100% mode and see what that thing feels like I may have been missing something all along here <laughs> that's nice I've been warned to uh, probably not play with that if you ride in the rain or or anything there's no traction control on these things at least I they may have added it for 19 on this but uh they may have it I don't know the Harleys don't you put that I've heard you put that thing one to one and you're barking that rear tire all the time and uh, I can guarantee you, you'd be barking this thing. You get playful on it. I know our tech come back and says, you don't ever want to ride that thing in sport mode in the rain or you're going to be down. I go, oh yeah? And he goes, yeah, it's crazy. Well, I believe him on that. So we're going to take a little bit of a freeway jaunt here. I can't be gone forever. I am at work. And at some point, they're going to be wondering what the heck happened to me. Sorry about this. This helmet is just amazingly loud. Shield rattles. I keep talking about getting the new helmet and retiring this one and use my current vlogging helmet as my work helmet. We'll, uh, we'll try to get that done sooner than later. Crystal smooth down the freeway. Suspension absolutely top notch. You don't, you don't look for potholes on one of these. You just drive through them. You remember, uh, in fact, that was the Yosemite run. Old Hooker Dimple Road. That was literally the motocross track of all roads. That old chieftain didn't even care. I was pretty impressed. Man, it just pulls from anywhere. That's nice. That's really nice. love the handlebar placement and again I apologize if that dash looks like it's right in your face it looks like a bug at you I promise you when you're sitting on this thing it's not like that at all I can switch the mode of the camera but then now, now you'd be staring at the screen you know it, it just narrows everything up and ruins the ride look at that from 2000 man she just marks off I love how everybody, Indian included, is making the stock exhaust sound really, really good. Yeah. Look at that nice bark out of her. Sweet music of a V-twin. it. I love a 
bike that you can go really slow and keep your feet on the pegs or boards in this case. You got some big old roomy floorboards on these things, that's for sure. And I love that out of the crate, there's no heel shifter. That's absolutely the first thing you got to do to a Harley. Take that godforsaken foot limiting dangerous hill shifter thing off of there. Ride that motorcycle like it's a motorcycle. I mean, I understand people people have some issues and stuff like that where they need something like that, but not on anything I ever own. Things are dangerous. Man, that is just the most beautiful color. It's almost like that that uh what's it called smoke something on the uh on the bobber that two-tone bobber i love that it's that semi-flat super super nice well that's nothing at the moment i'm assuming they got running lights that'll uh will install by the turn signals in a in a conventional tour way I'm telling you what that throttle is some kind of sensitive yeah I'm over here buddy that was partially my fault I was in his blind spot If you guys don't know it or not, but there was a bulletin on the uh, on the 116 kits. That's that's over. There's a fix for it. You can buy them and install them now. They're beefed up. Yeah, this thing is super nice. Let's do a quick walk around here before I turn the camera off. I'll take his fob to him too. I don't want to leave it out here and have it brand new Indian drive away on him of course I can get a hold of it with my gloves that seat may come across on camera like it looks uncomfortable but I'm telling you that's the best seat on the Indian any Indian I've ever ridden man that thing looks good that looks real real good Man. Mm, mm, mm. Indian, you knocked that one out of the park. Big time. There's tons of other little subtle changes with the engine and all kinds of stuff. So you guys have to... I don't read off all the spec stuff. You guys can find all that yourself. That's cool, though. Thanks for coming along for the rip. Probably a long one. <laughs> 